Hi guys, so before we go today a comparison video of the parallel and serial flow rate in the GPU blocks I want to answer the most common question that I see people doing when they see a parallel loop um, they ask what will prevent the water that go through one block and not the other like if the water come from here and go through this block and nothing or far less from the other in this block when we are talking about parallel loops, we need to understand that the water always choose the easy way to go. So basically, in a parallel situation, all of the loops need to be as restrictive as the other is. And in this case, we have the same block in both of the cards. The water is coming in in the same place of the blocks. And they need to be as restrictive as the other is. So they will have the same flow rate. And that's it. But the big deal of choosing a parallel loop is that the flow that is coming here will split to this block and this block. So basically you will have half of the flow in both of the blocks and um, less flow rate, uh, you will have less pressure to up in the blocks. My battery died, so continuing, uh, having less pressure in the blocks, you will have a higher flow rate in the system and having a higher flow rate in the system you have a better heat transfer in the radiators and more pressure in the CPU block so if you have a question let me know and I hope you enjoy